Before this evening's UK London launch for Diablo 3, I got a chance to catch up with Julian Love, the lead technical artist, and Leonard Boyarski, the senior world designer, before tonight's main events. Here's what they said in the quickest of fashions. Well, what's going to be happening at the launch is that we've got uh, hundreds of people showing up to uh, uh, to wait for the very moment that they get to purchase the game and take it home and uh, play it for the first time. Uh, and of course, we're going to be there to sign some boxes and uh, have some fun to count. Yeah, help them count down to the point where the launch takes place. So, what would you say your favorite class was? Uh, what, my favorite class. That's that's a really hard uh, question to answer because my favorite class is generally the one I'm knee deep in playing. Um, I really came into this expecting the uh, Witch Doctor to be my favorite because um, I just liked his quirkiness. But uh, I've, you know, every time, like I just played a Demon Hunter recently and I was like, oh, the Demon Hunter is like the, the awesome class. You know, because you just get into the rhythm of, rhythm of playing it and, uh, and figuring out the little nuances of the character and then, you know, none of the other characters could possibly be that cool. And then you play the other ones and you start to get sucked into them. Well, my, my favorite class has to be all of them. You know, we work on them for years and years and years and go through this process of like making one of them awesome. Like we make the barbarian awesome and then and then we move on to the wizard. We make the wizard more awesome. Then you have to, as a result, you have to go back and make the barbarian awesome and uh, to compete. And through that, uh, that cycle, it, it's pretty much impossible to do that job without falling in love with each and every one of them. So it's going to be a real challenge for me to pick which one I'm going to start with uh, on launch day. So what would you say the biggest change from Diablo 2 to Diablo 3 would be? Well, I think the the cool thing that fans are going to get out of playing this uh, playing Diablo 3 is that uh, they're going to have this real visceral gameplay experience. They're going to progress through many levels uh, of uh, difficulty, uh, cut down lots of bosses, get tons of loot, stay up late, and lose lots of sleep. You guys take your time on development. What, how, how do you get so long to develop a game, and, and what, why do you f feel that you have to do it? Uh, you know, Blizzard has a reputation for releasing games when they're polished and, and ready to be seen. And uh, we take that very seriously. And Diablo took a lot of iteration for us to make sure we really, you know, hit the nail on the head and, and got a lot of the aspects to it right. And uh, we're very proud of what we've done. We want to leave who you'll be meeting in Diablo 3 besides Deckard Kane a surprise. We've introduced some new characters like Leah. Um, but there is there is a couple nods to previous games and uh, uh, not only through people you meet, but uh, lore books and, and different things you'll find out about the history of the world. So yeah, one of the new features of Diablo 3 is that we're going to have an auction house. It, really the intent there is to make a safe place for people to trade uh, items, something that's uh, supported uh, by Blizzard. So you can go there and, and put your items up for sale for either gold or real money. Uh, and uh, also just conversely buy, uh, buy items for, for gold or real money. Uh, and really it's just a, what we're trying to do is facilitate the, uh, the behavior that, uh, that players had in past Diablo games where, they would, uh, where trading is a real big part of what you do. What would you say makes the Diablo 3 community so special? Um, also in comparison to StarCraft and WarCraft, why, why would you say the Diablo 3 guys are the best? Um, all of our fans are awesome. Um, you know, just if you just look at a, a great example of, of how awesome our fans are is if you look at uh, the costume contest that we have every year at BlizzCon, um, there's just people just devote so much time to that thing and there's, there's such amazing um, characters that come out of that. Um, one of our characters, an interesting story, is one of our characters um, that we had released a, a concept art piece for um, was actually had been cut from the game and then somebody who I think it was two years ago won the costume contest with this character and we're just like well we have to put that character back in the game now because it's, she looks so awesome and it was just such a great costume. So other than tonight, what other worldwide launches are happening and whereabouts? Well, we've got a worldwide presence for launch today. And so we've got representatives in Irvine, uh, Stockholm, uh, London, Paris, Berlin, South Korea. Uh, we're really trying to treat it as a global launch and a, a global ce celebration of the release of Diablo 3.